Hey guys, welcome back. So we just unlocked what is probably the most prestigious, hardest weapon to unlock within Modern Warfare. Personally, I think so because this took like a good hour and change to do and I've done it multiple days trying to do it. The only way that you can unlock this weapon is by completing the Easter egg within Warzone, which is unlocking the secret Bunker 11 within the map. And it's really frustrating because a lot of people just camp it out and kill you or sometimes you'll get the codes wrong and it's just a whole bunch of steps you gotta do in order to unlock the bunker and therefore unlocking this brand new MP7. Now in this video, we're gonna show it off. We're gonna do some gameplay. It is officially one of my favorite new weapons. I love the color. I love everything about it. And I love the fact that it took forever to get, right? So we're gonna definitely focus on this weapon. But before we do that, I just wanna plug in my sponsor this month. You know, I'm sponsored by several people, but Scuff is definitely one of the companies that I've been rocking with for a very long time. I cannot play Call of Duty properly without one of these things in my hands. And of course, it's something that I'm already used to, so maybe that's a big factor in it. I love this controller. They just sent me a new one, and of course, I've talked about this before, but the new ones now have this new grip on it, which is by far the best grippiest grip I've ever had on a controller. And this one also now has the new concaved dip paddles in the back, which actually makes your middle finger just sit there perfectly for jump shots and stuff like that you can order these without the rumble pads so one you don't have that rumbling feature and two it makes your controller feel a whole lot lighter which is better and it does help out and of course you can also have the trigger stops at the back so you can you know aim or shoot faster but yeah if you guys are in the market for a new controller be sure to check out scuff gaming you can go ahead and get my very own hollow scuff if you want to the link will be down in the description you can use code hollow for a discount and uh, yeah, the brand new MP7 comes with the following attachments. It's got the monolithic suppressor, which in my opinion is the best suppressor. It's got no barrel. It's got uh, a laser, no stock, 60 round mag, which is amazing, and a Ranger foregrip. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the laser. I'm going to take it off and I'm definitely going to go ahead and probably in between either the rear grip or maybe the barrel. I might actually go for the barrel to get some more damage range. Yeah, when you unlock this weapon in uh, Warzone or when you find it in Warzone, it's odd because you find it with a scope. You find it like with one of those like uh, two type scopes. And then when you get it unlocked, it doesn't have that. Oh, it's so beautiful. So when you find it in the Bunker 11, you'll have a scope, like one of those integral hybrid scopes type of thing. So I was like, ah, when I make the class setup, I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to have to take out the scope and use something else. When you get it on multiplayer... It doesn't come with a scope, which is weird. I hear somebody behind me. Oh my God. Woo! Jesus. Okay, hold on. I'm going to call in this UAV. All right, they're on the other side. Oh, he got smoked. My teammate got smoked. He's reloading. I'm telling you, this is the probably top two, top one best weapons in the game. It's it's crazy because this actual blueprint comes with everything that you should be running the MP7 with. So it's like unlocking it is pretty much giving you the best attachments for this weapon, period. Somebody here to the left. I've got no more bullets left. Fucking A, come on. Oh my God. Okay, let me pick this one up. I'm gonna literally have to drop it. Oh no, I got bullets. I just got bullets. Enemy at the cargo container. Okay, there's this guy over here with this fucking crate. Dude, I'm telling you, this MP7 has got zero, zero recoil. Oh, that guy almost got me. I also put on that little, little flame head, which complements the orange or yellow tones. I swear to you, they've done something to the aim assist. I know some people say they haven't, but I, I just, my aim assist just doesn't feel the same. Above, above, above. Okay, we're gonna go up through here. Enemy in the center. Fuck. We've got a UAV on station, ready for 
Oh my god. <laughs> Contextual tap. We got to hold the reload button instead. Is he still back there? Oh, he did. I think they're spawning back here. Let me get in my VTOL. Actually, that's my UAV. VTOL. UAV entering the got one right here. You see what I'm talking about? This MP7 is a literal freaking nightmare for anyone. It's got like no recoil whatsoever. It's insane. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's my VTOL. Okay, I'm going to keep pushing this way. Ah, I've already played like two, three games. And we, we got a decent game here. So probably going to play one more after just so you guys can see it a little bit more. This is a TDM. I was hoping to get like a hard point or something. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. There you go. Ah, oh, shit. He's alive. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? We got him. All right. Dude, I love this MP7. I feel like... I feel like it's insane. I was actually looking for an MP7 that looked good because I have three MP7s prior to this one. I had the Bengal, which is kind of crappy looking, honestly. We had this Piercer, which is literally an all-black MP7, and then the Riptide, which was the one that I kind of liked the most, but it, it just really wasn't all that. But now we've got the Mud Dropper. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, by the way. And thankfully, the Monolithic Suppressor is the suppressor that it comes with, which has that little pattern design to it. I've said it every video. I'll say it every video. I'll never... I don't think I'll ever stop saying it. I just don't like this map. Dude, I haven't gone to the barber in like months. So I've got this really annoying like nose hairs. <laughs> I grow hairs on my nose, yes. <laughs> it's just freaking itch all the time. Oh shit. <laughs> this guy just knocked the shit out of my teammate. Oh my god, never fails. I, every time I play in this map, I get fucking shit. Got him. Look at this man. Got him. Yo, this is actually the first time I ever used the heartbeat sensor in multiplayer. The only reason I'm using it is because it's on my uh, Warzone class. Yeah, the aim assist is just weird, dude. I don't know what it is about this map. It's just so quiet. Like, there's barely any action. It's slow as hell. It's trash, I tell you. Got the stem shot. All right. I'm going to call in the UAV. Let's see if I can call UAV something in here. Oh, my God. Yep. Dude, something is happening with my aim assist. Oh, fuck! Changing Mac. Oh, he, he retreated. Got him. Ooh! Oh, my God. Just stole that kill from my teammate. Sorry, dude. All right. Spot him over there. What is this? An FAO? Oh, this is a growl. Oh, shoot. I've never used a growl with this before. <laughs> what the hell? Oh god. I got the I got the V tool patrolling me here. Got, got dead silence on. Got dead silence on. Oh that V tool's going in, baby. Got him. Can we call in the helo? Hell yeah! Look at this guy. Wow. Got a UAV. They got a precision airstrike. See bodies flopping all over the place. All right, one more kill. One more kill. One more kill. One more kill. Can we get the last kill? 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 Where's this? Never mind. All right, so guys, there you have it. Let me know what you think of the brand new, really cool looking MP7 in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you did, like rating would be really appreciated. And uh, yeah, catch you guys later.